Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a roasted pork loin with apples and pearl onions and taters. Now that is your apples, your pearl onions, your taters, and your garlic right there. And I want you to cover them with olive oil and salt and pepper to taste. Okay. And then we're going to take and put them in a 400 degree oven for 20 minutes prior to us working on this pork loin. Okay, now salt and pepper it to taste and get yourself a skillet, and I mean smoking hot steel skillet. And we're going to proceed to sear this baby. This is a one and a half pound, by the way, and all these things are for two people. But you are more than welcome to double or triple it, okay? Now, all you do is you keep moving your pork loin around in this really hot skillet until it's seared on all sides, okay? Just take your time. Don't worry about the bottom of the pan. It's a steel skillet. Now, right there, I added me a little bit of olive oil in there to kind of just give a little bit more smoke and maybe work with it a little better and do a little deglazing of the pan maybe. But anyway... Once you get it to that point, I want you to get those vegetables. They should have been in there about 20 minutes. And I want you to dump them in that pan right there with that pork loin, okay? Now, you want to make sure you season your vegetables one more time. A little salt and pepper on them, okay? And maybe a squirt of olive oil. And we're going to take these babies to a 400 degree oven. And we're going to start out with 15 minutes. 15 minutes to give you 140 degrees and perfectly pink on the inside after resting. If you want it, uh, say where it's like mine is, I cook mine to 150 degree internal temperature and then let it rest and you'll see what you got with that, okay? The pink's pretty much gone. So anyway, put it on a plate after you get the temperature that you like and you let that baby rest for 15 minutes. And then you can see here now what I got for 25 minutes at 400, okay? All right, see that? Still got a little bit of pink in it, but oh my goodness, this was so delectable, juicy, and delicious. And see that juice on that plate? That's after the resting period. So the juice just had time to disperse back into the meat, okay? Now, once you get her cut up to your liking, I want you to get those roasted vegetables out of that pan and put them around your pork roast. Oh, baby. This will sound kind of good here, y'all. Now, there are some garlic cloves in there, and all this recipe will be down below for you, okay? Uh, there's a few things that I didn't tell you that you need to read down there, okay? Uh... I'm going to try to sneak me a bite of it here where I don't ruin the presentation, you know what I mean? But folks, this was so nice, so juicy, and make you a little, some green beans. I think I made those yesterday and posted them, but they're perfect to go with this, okay? This will make a great holiday meal for you folks, I'm telling you. Uh, everybody would be very happy. Oh yeah, taters are perfect. Well, hey, y'all. I hope you give my pork loin recipe a try. And I hope you have a good holiday season. And I also hope you like and subscribe to my channel. Y'all have a really good day now, you hear? Bye.